shush, it's not your turn. It's me and Keely here, and we're here to tell you some tips about traveling with your power chair. Fortunately, there's a lot of people on the internet who know more than I do, so I stole some of their best tips to share it with you today. If you're traveling with your power chair, fly direct as much as you can, because if it's one flight, that's one flight where they take your chair in and out, that's less opportunities for it to get broken. Second off, know your chair. What kind of batteries do you have? What's the length, width, and height? All of those are questions that the airline is probably gonna ask you. So anything they can remove, like a headrest, a cup holder, a backup camera, anything that might be wiggly, take that off, get that out of there. We don't want that to break. Last, uh, stay with your chair as long as you can and make sure you talk to the person who's going to be handling your wheelchair. More often than not, they want to help you. They, they want to know what to do. They want to know anything that they need to know. So share with them any of the need to know information. This also helps them create a connection with you. If they've met you, they might take a little bit better care of your equipment. Lastly, I found this super helpful thing with lots of useful tips for anybody else interacting with my chair. I print this off and I tape it to my chair whenever I travel with it. It includes things like information on how to make, put my chair in manual mode, uh, how heavy it is, and don't try to lift it alone. Don't remove anything, don't mix up the wires, and if you lay it down, if you don't lay it on its joystick. All some super, super good need to know information and a nice happy piece of paper with a smiley face on it. Wherever you're going, happy travels, and happy traveling with your power chair.